Many a times we need to measure lengths and distances. A tailor needs to know the length of the cloth to stitch a dress for a person such as a coat, shirt, etc. A carpenter needs to measure the length, height and width in order to make the perfect fit cupboards for your room. Thus man realized the need of measurement. It is the comparison of an unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity called unit. Things one should know in order to measure any particular quantity. The unit of measurement and the number of units that particular quantity measures. In ancient times, people used different units of measurements like hand span. It is the length between the tip of the thumb and the little finger when stretched. Cubit. It is the length between the tip of the middle finger and the elbow. Footstep. It is the length between thumb and the heel of the foot. Yard. Distance between the end of the outstretched arm and the chin. Arm length. It is the length between the shoulder and the middle finger. These methods of measuring length were not satisfactory because the length of the arm, foot and hand span varied from one person to another. Different standard units of measurement were created at different places. For the sake of uniformity, scientists all over the world have accepted a set of standard units of measurement. The standard system of unit is known as the International System of Units, that is SI units. Under this system, we have seven fundamental units for physical quantities. These are length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance and luminous intensity. Derived units are units which are derived from these fundamental units. Some examples are given here like area, volume, density, speed, velocity, acceleration, etc. Length is measured as a distance between two points or objects. The standard unit of measurement of length is a meter which is written as a small m. The measured value consists of two parts. For example, if the length of a desk is 2 meter, it means that the meter length is repeated three times. There are many instruments used to measure length like meter rod, meter scale, meter ruler, measuring tapes, etc. The type of instrument depends on the type of work and the accuracy that is needed. For example, the flexible measuring tape is used by a tailor, a 15 cm ruler for geometry work and a stiff measuring tape by carpenter and masons. Very small lengths is measured with the help of special instruments like screw gauge and vernier calipers. Remember, while taking measurement, we need to take care of these possible errors. If the scale is not placed exactly along the length being measured, then a wrong reading will be obtained. Then, an error also is caused due to the wrong positioning of eye while taking the readings, which is called the parallax error. Can you measure the length of a curved line, say a curved electric wire, like you measured the length of a geometry box? No, not at all. For that, you will need a thread. Put a knot near one end of a thread, place the knot at the beginning of the line at A, and press it with your thumb. Place a portion of the thread along the curved line and press it with your forefinger. Keeping your finger pressed, move the thread along some portion of the line. Repeat the steps 3 and 4 to trace the entire length of the curved line using the thread. When the thread reaches the end, put a mark on it. Stretch out the thread on a scale and measure its length with the help of a measuring scale. And you got it. Thank you.